So in this part, we're going to look at whether a function is periodic or not periodic. So for it to be periodic, not only does do you need to change, see a pattern with the x, but you also need to see a pattern with the y, what's going on. So this one, it looks like the x has a pattern, but if you look, the y is not going up and down the same amount. So this one is not periodic. And this one is periodic because you can see that it goes, that it follows the same motion. It goes up, down, down, and it comes back down to the same spot. See, this one goes up, down, up, down, but it goes up and down to different spots, so it's not periodic. So yes, this one's periodic. And the period is roughly, this is a half, this is two and a half, so the period is approximately two. So the period, you're going to go from one part to the next part. You could also judge the period from here to here, or from here to here. There's different ways that you can tell for the period. This is periodic. And the period could be from here to here, or you could go from here to here. So this one, again, is approximately 3. It's a little over 3. I'm going to write approximately 3. So find the amp the period and amplitude. So amplitude is defined as half of the maximum y value minus the minimum y value. So the period first of this function, I'm going to use these two marks, is about 2. And the amplitude is... It's going from negative 1 to 1, so it's half of 1 minus negative 1. So you can, what you can do is think of the height of the wave and take half of it. So the height of this wave is 2, so half of that is 1, so the amplitude is 1. This is periodic. The period goes from 0 to 3. So it's 3. This part is 3 units. Going from here to here is 3 units. From here to here is 3 units. There's all different ways to find the period. And the amplitude is half of the height. So here you're going from negative 1 to 3. So this is 4 units. So half of that is 2. And then number 9, the period is going from 0 to 2, and the amplitude is, look at the height, so the height, this is at 2, this is at negative 4, the height is 6, so the amplitude is half that, so it's 3. And then number 13, period from here to here, so the period is 4, the height of the wave is going from 1 to 3, so the amplitude is half of 4, which is 2. This is a little bit different, but this this port part corresponds to this part over here. And this part corresponds to this part over here. So these two distances are going to be the same, and those two distances are the period. So this is going from approximately um, negative 1 and 3 fourths to 3 and a fourth. So this distance is 5, so the period is 5, and the amplitude is a height, so it's going from here to here. This distance is 3, so half of that is 1.5, or 1.5. And this one, the period, it's repeating itself. Here's the spot, corresponds with this spot. So the period is about, I would write, one and two-thirds. It's not exact. You have to approximate. And the amplitude is, look at the height. So it's going from one, negative one to three. So the height's four. So half of that is two. So number one down here. For the function below, identify one cycle in two different ways. 
So that means that you can look at the cycle from these two spots. You can look at the cycle from these two spots. You could do even more than that if you wanted to. There's many different ways. And the period of this function is going is 4. This is 4 units from here to here, 4 units from here to here, 4 units from here to here. And this function over here, this last one, is also periodic. So the period is from here to here. Or you could go from here to here. So the period is 4. And we didn't have to find the amplitude. Remember, the amplitude is half the height.